Hey guys, it's Ryan with Power Titans Fitness, and we're coming at you again with another topic today. We're gonna to talk about spinal segmental control. What this has to do is uh, with the orientation of the spinal segments and how your body maintains upright posture. So today I'm gonna to show you Mr. Bonaparte. And what we've got here is the skeletal system. And so the, the spine is uh, made up of basically three different parts. You got your cervical, you got your thorax, or the trunk, and then you got your lumbar. Now it sits on top of the sacral base down here, and that's tucked between the two halves of your hip bones. Now each of these curves uh, supports a neutral posture. A neutral posture just basically means that your body weight is stacked evenly over certain joint segments. So it's this little zygomatic cheekbone here, this little arch, the AC joint, acromioclavicular joint, the inner vertebral bodies of the lumbars, and then really about one inch forward of the sacral base right over here. It intersects right there vertically and it goes all the way down and intersects with the knee and then the, um, the lateral ankle bone, the malleoli. So that line there, that vertical line, basically establishes your vertical center of gravity. And then the curves of the spine are measured against that. So you have a, an anterior curve, meaning it's curved forward of that center of gravity. That's called lordotic. And then a curve that rotates backward or posterior of that vertical center of gravity, and that's called kyphotic. So the uh, cervical spine is lordotic, and the thoracic spine is kyphotic, and then the lumbar is lordotic, and then technically this little sacral fused base down here on the back side, that's considered kyphotic as well. So ultimately what we're trying to do is maintain the neutral position of the curves of the spine so it can maintain its base of support underneath of it or your feet underneath of you. And that's referred to as stability. So maintaining center of mass over base of support by supporting the posture of the joint angles at the spinal column maintains stability. And we use our intrinsic passive subsystem and our muscles around the spine to keep it stable there. So cervical should be about 20 degrees, the thorax about 20, and then the lumbar about 30. And then we've got this pelvic slope, which is basically from this little crest here at the bone there to the crest to the bone back there. And that's called your pelvic slope, that's about 12 degrees. And if you keep all these joints stacked and the balance of the tension to keep that in alignment, well then you have good balance and stability. So it's called spinal segmental control. So we wanna teach you guys all about that stuff. If you have any questions on this uh, topic, uh, let us know. But again, we're organizing movement and posture and muscle action to support these angles so that the rest of the appendages can move well when we move our body. Questions again, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. Remember, your body's designed to move, so stay in motion. We'll see you soon.